What is going on guys? It is Orion X here and we're back in the meth lab as you see in the background. If you ever watched any of my old videos, this is where I like did all my hockey stuff. But anyways, today we're gonna be customizing Ethan's old Ultra Boost 3.0s. Yeah, these are 3.0s. You know, I don't really know that much, but anyways, I've seen videos of people like painting the boost black, which is this part. And if you don't know anything about shoes, this video probably isn't for you. I know like my audience is kind of scattered right now because I'm doing like car videos and just daily vlog, or not daily, but vlogs, and now I'm doing a shoe video. But anyways, I've seen people, um, they paint the boost black and also they dye the boost black. And that's what I'm gonna try today because apparently the paint cracks. Um, it's just like a little custom tutorial and kind of like a response video to everyone else that is using this eye dye stuff um this is like you put it in boiling water and a mixture and then apparently it stays on here pretty good so i'm gonna show you guys everything we need i have it all right here and then we'll get right to it all right so these are all the supplies here guys i actually should have gloves which i'll get those when um we actually start doing it but this is the dye it's eye dye poly with color intensifier um it's pretty much it just you guys find you have to find the exact one because this is the, like the one I guess that works on plastics and like you know the boost type of material and also we're gonna need acetone this is like nail polish remover with acetone this is good for cleaning the boost before you um, paint it and also these aren't brand new as you guys can see these are a little dirty so I'm still gonna clean them um, and you need to also get like the protective coating off because I guess the dye paint whatever kind of mixture this is sticks better um, we got cotton balls to use with the acetone and then this little, it's like a, I don't even know, some sort of just a glass jar that you can, um, you can put all the mixture in. And actually we need boiling water, which it's boiling right now. And I'm going to bring the tea kettle out and make the mixture up. So you guys can see, this is the stuff. You put this in the water and we're going to mix it up in this. And then after when I'm done making it black, this is a, um, a varnish jacquard i don't know that brand but that's the same people that make this stuff so <clears throat> i saw somebody else's video and i'm pretty much using the same stuff they did and i want to see if i can get it to come out just as good you know what i mean so um we're gonna go get the boiling water and actually i'm gonna clean the boost and then get the boiling water and we'll start from there If your boost is really dirty, like you don't need to go all out and make it shiny white because we're going to be making it black anyway. So as long as like any debris or like leftover just like crap on it is gone, you'll be good. All right, so we got some boiling water here. We just finished. It's not boiling anymore, but it's very hot in the tea kettle. We got our glass jar and the dye and the color intensifier. So I should probably should take this shirt off. All right, we're going to be careful. <laughs> Yeah, so I really don't know what I'm doing. I've seen a few videos, so I'm just going by exactly what they do. And like I said, I want to see if we can get the same outcome. So, it's clean. All right. I don't know what this is. I don't even, it's like a pouch, a powder type thing. Ma, can you give me scissors, please? Hey, let me get a tray too. Yeah, you might want to get something like protective too, to like put under it. Cause this stuff is, from what I've seen, it's really heavy duty. Um, coloring stuff, so. Which should be good enough right there. Yeah, you definitely need something to, um, have under it because you don't want to make a mess like I am starting to make my right now. All right, that's good enough, right? So that, oh, I can smell it. Is it bad? Yeah, I mean, it's just chemicals. I don't know if this is clear. I think this is, I don't know, it's color intensifier. It's color intensifier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this stuff is clear. This is the color intensifier. Where is it? Up here. All right. Color intensifier is in and whatever that dye stuff is. All right, we got our boiling water. I'm gonna be really careful with, I'm scared. Alright, I'm gonna say that's good. I'm gonna say that's enough right there. 
It's really hot. Yeah. Okay, I need something to mix it with quick. Um, I can use my iPhone repair tools to mix it. <laughs> I'll really melt the plastic. And we have a few more supplies here guys that I just grabbed. Obviously you're gonna need a paintbrush and I have my gloves here too. So we are going to start painting or dying, right? Dying. All right, so we finished applying the dye to the boost, um, and now we're just gonna, I used the heat gun a little bit already, but we're gonna use the heat gun and try to get it to dry. The other video I watched, it said it's gonna take like an hour or two, I don't know what it said, to let it dry, and we can tell it's starting to dry in certain areas, so I guess if you wanna use a heat gun, that'll just speed up the process a little bit. Also, you might want to be careful, like, don't leave the heat gun on a certain spot for too long because, I don't know, you could probably mess something up or melt the boost or something and that would not be good. Gone wrong. Alright guys, so my cameraman's leaving, but I'm letting it, I think I'm just going to let it air dry. I might use the heat gun a little more, but, um... I might finish doing it tonight or I might just wait for him next time or someone else to help again. I mean, it's not that hard. Basically now I just have to let it dry and do the varnish and actually take the, um, use the acetone on it to take like the purple tint off. So yeah, you guys will see what's up. All right guys, so since I lost my cameraman, I couldn't record myself using the acetone and cotton balls. But as you can see here, it might still be a little wet down here. Is that, yeah, just like some rubbing alcohol, but um yeah the black lost its purplish tint and it looks a lot better now it's like a matte finish it looks like a triple black almost and here's the other side that i didn't use the acetone on yet so you could clearly see this one has like the purple tint and it's really shiny and in my opinion it just doesn't look good like that this side looks really good here you guys can actually see on the back you can see where i started wiping and where I haven't yet, this side with that purplish tint. So, you know, it works, guys. It actually does work. Um, you can rub it as hard as you want with the acetone, and it will not come off. You'll probably damage the boost before you get the black top coat off. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up on this side. And then from here, it's like you could do whatever you want. You could um, varnish, like matte varnish or clear varnish. Or um, not clear. Well, yeah, it's going to be clear, but like matte or uh, shiny. So I'm going to finish wiping it all and then show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, this is going to be the end of the video here. I'm going to show you the finished product. This is, it's pretty much matte right now. As you can see, it's like a matte black finish, which is what I was going for. Boom. And you can probably see the one glossy spot, which is right here, which I tried my high gloss finisher on. Which I did, I bought this not really knowing what I wanted, to be honest. I just wanted some sort of finisher, which... You should put a finisher over it, matte, gloss, personal preference, whatever you want, because I feel like over time, the weather, uh, and depending where you're going with your shoe, it's good to just have something over it to protect it. But yeah, that is your finished product, and this is my first custom ever doing anything like this on a shoe, custom, so it came out good, and it's not that hard, it's less than 20 bucks, if you guys, you even probably have some supplies sitting around your house, like nail polish remover, acetone nail polish remover. Um, and you can really turn an old ugly pair of shoes that are dirty the boost is dirty on these into a like a 
brand new, fresh looking shoe that you actually want to wear now, you know what I mean? <clears throat> So if you guys have any questions, comment down below, like the video if you're new, subscribe if you did enjoy. I'm losing subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button. And also, if you see this video in a few months from now, make sure to comment down below, ask me how it went, what's up, and I'll make sure to let you guys know how it's holding up, and I might make a future video um, showing that also. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.